Hi, welcome to the Hands-On Systems Programming with Rust course. My name is Nathan Stocks. I have been a software developer for my entire career, and I'm really into programming in Rust, Python, and creating indie games. You can connect with me through my website at agileperception.com. Hands-on systems programming with Rust is an engaging hands-on course where I will walk through building and publishing a real project as we discuss various systems programming topics and how to accomplish them in Rust. Every step of the way, we will have a working, runnable project that you can play with. This course is divided into five sections. In the first section, we will go over some recommended preparation for the course, such as configuring your IDE. And then we will go through an overview of our project and create the empty project. In section two, we will learn how to deal with I.O., including standard in, standard out, files and buffered I.O., and dealing with errors gracefully. In section three, we will organize our project into a library, split the running program into threads, and communicate between threads with channels. In section four, we will learn how to deal with time and improve our progress output to the terminal, at which point our project will be functionally complete. In section five, we will go over some best practices for any project and show how they can be applied to this project. Things like writing and running tests, documenting your own code and generating a browsable website, and how to publish your project to crates.io and understand how to choose correct version numbers. For this course to be most effective, you should already understand basic programming principles. Some familiarity with Rust itself wouldn't hurt. You should have a recent version of Rust installed on your system, and the IDE of your choice should have a relevant Rust plugin installed and ready to go. There are also a few more details you should be aware of. At the end of each video where we work on our project, the project will be runnable. Please follow along and run the project yourself. Exploring and tinkering with each stage on your own is a valuable way to internalize details about what we discuss in the course. There is a companion Git repository on GitHub where you can access the actual code for the course. The repository has a tag corresponding to the finished state of each video that touches the project. The tags are simply the number of the video. So for example, the first video in section two would have a corresponding 2.1 tag that you could check out if you wish. There are several goals for this project. By the end of this course, you will be familiar with how to use Rust's package ecosystem to use others' code in your project. You'll be able to launch threads and communicate between them with channels to take advantage of multiple CPU cores at once. You will learn how to measure data flowing through a pipeline and output those measurements to standard error or other places. You will be able to adapt the knowledge from this project to an arbitrary middleware project of your own if you wish. You'll be aware of best practices and techniques that you can take advantage of to set your project on the path for success, and you will know how to publish that project to crates.io for others to use. I hope you're as excited as I am. Let's get started.